In CNC machining, the tool and the work offsets allow the machine to know where the workpiece is and know how long and what the diameter of the tools are. It's, it's actually really pretty simple. So in general, CNC machine tools know where the end of their spindle is relative to the table of the machine tool. And, and it knows the position of the table in the X and the Y location where we have a, a spindle that's moving up and down and a table that's moving in the X and the Y. Now we could also have a gantry system where we've got a spindle that's moving up and down and it's held by some positioning stages that are moving in the X and Y. That'll also work. But in general, the CNC machine tool knows where the end of the spindle is in relation to the table or the, uh, the, the base where the, uh, the workpiece is being held. What it doesn't know is it doesn't know where on the table the workpiece is fastened down. And so for the sake of this drawing here, I've eliminated the fixturing. But of course, we actually have to hold that workpiece with a vise or with some clamps or something like that. But, but at any rate, so the machine tool doesn't know where the workpiece is when we start. And it also doesn't know how long the tool holder is or how long the tool is sticking out of that. And so when we set the tool offsets, we're basically telling the machine tool the distance from here to here, from the end of the spindle to the tip of the tool. And when we set the work offsets, we're telling the, uh, and if this is where our work zero is here, say on the top center of this part, we're telling the machine tool where the top center of the workpiece is relative well, we use the spindle for everything, but you could say relative to that table. So we're telling the machine how long the tools are, where the workpiece is. It's, it's really a simple process when we do this. And so it would be possible to, uh, to get a, an accurate tape measure and go measure that length of the tool from here to here. You could measure from the origin of the work uh, piece on the table. You could, you could make those measurements. You could go into the offsets register on the machine tool controller. You could go into the offsets. You could type those numbers in directly. Now, in, in practice, actually, in a lot of shops, they actually build the tools in a, uh, in a tool crib. They have a tool there that they use to measure the length of the tool. And, and they put a barcode on the side of the tool that when you get out to the machine tool, you type in that, uh, that tool offset. What we're going to do here in the, in the labs, though, is we're going to actually use the spindle and we're going to move the, uh, the machine tool around in order to use the machine to measure the length of the tools and to locate the workpiece. One of the easiest ways to set the tool and the work offsets in a Haas mill is to use the Haas probing systems. You can learn more about that at the, uh, at the CNC Quick Guide. Actually, uh, there's a couple things that you can do here. If you go to, uh, to the search bar, search for probing, you'll find that there's a couple of blog posts here that, uh, that bring you to some videos that actually show you each of the probing algorithm or the probing macros operating. And so you can, you can actually see how these macros operate here. Now if you open up the quick guide itself, and uh, go to setting work offsets in the table of contents. That will jump you up here to the setting work offsets section. We can go down here to setting work offsets. With the, uh, with the probe, accessing VQC. Probe bore is the first one here, which will locate the center of a round hole in the part. Uh, but you can actually step through these pages here in the CNC Quick Guide. It will talk about each of the uh, individual probing algorithms and macros. And, uh, and then if you go back here to the, uh, the blog post, you can see videos of each of those algorithms working. Um, depending on where the work offset is on the part, you'll want to use a different macro to locate that. And, uh, and so paging through these, looking at these, being familiar with where you can find these will help you as you get out to the machine tools when it's your turn to decide how to set those work and tool offsets.